We begin with the tales of some scary moments today in Shaker Heights, a police chase, followed by a call to residents to stay in their homes. Emma Henderson breaks down what happened and where things stand right now. Shaker Heights PD say this is the car where it all started around 3.20 p.m. while running plates. Officers realized the car had been stolen at gunpoint from Cleveland. Commander John Cole says they followed the car and that's when two men popped out and ran. That's when it caught the attention of neighbor Will Grant. I heard that they were looking for some guy and that uh, supposedly he had jumped a fence just a street over. A perimeter was set up around the 3000 block of Warrensville Center Road. The message to neighbors, stay inside, and if you're not there, avoid the area. A couple minutes later, uh, the, one of the guys um, ran across the street and down my driveway, and then through my backyard, hopped the fence, and continued on uh, behind my backyard. One of the two suspects was caught, and Commander Cole says people who live in the area should feel safe in their homes, that they wouldn't take down a police perimeter otherwise but they would like anyone who saw or knows anything about the second suspect to come forward. A couple minutes later, I heard that the dog bit the guy out in Warrensville. And so um, it sort of seems like a, a weird like neighborhood group effort over here of tracking this guy down. And you know, it kind of helps that a lot of people are, are home. And Grant has some advice after seeing something a suspect left in his front yard. Always tie your shoes, I guess, if you're gonna be doing athletic activity. Now, like I said, they are still looking for one of the suspects. If you know anything or saw anything, please reach out to Shaker Heights Police Department. Russ. Okay, Emma Henderson in the newsroom. Thank you.